Hello there. I am Mads. Uh, welcome to this horrible mismash of a vlog. I like to make vlogs. They're always terrible. This is the most passable vlog I've made in a long time. Today we're going to be talking about stick and poke tattoos. Uh... In case this is your first stick and poke tattoo video on YouTube, it's definitely not mine. I've definitely consumed hundreds of them over the period of quarantine. Um, but if this is your first one, this video is about me learning how to hand do tattoos. Right now I'm just tracing some stencils and I'm going to put them on a sheet of silicone. I put about 10 to 15 hours of practice into this sheet of silicone. It's kind of upsetting how <laughs> poorly I did on- I mean, I- this is why you don't start on your skin. You buy this little $10 piece of silicone and you practice on this, or you buy a pigskin, something like that, something with a little bit of give to practice on. Because there's lots of stuff I didn't realize early on that I learned by practicing this way. Um, for example, the uh, angle- at, everybody knows you, you poke at a 45 degree angle but you have to make sure you're kind of going in a line, sort of like you're a sewing machine. If you look at the row that's above what I'm currently working on, those lines, I put like three hours into that Elijah Thornberry, but she looks so rough because instead of changing the angles like I'm doing right now, I just poked all from the right hand side the whole time. And so the lines are very blurry and learned that the hard way. Glad I did not learn that on my skin. So, uh, point of this very long introduction is just showing, like, always practice first. I think people get really triggered looking at these, uh, YouTubers who are, like, 18 and doing their own stick and pokes in their bathrooms and stuff, which is valid. Um, I think it bothers people because it looks like they're, they're just doing it. And you know what? Sometimes that's how life is. Sometimes you just have to throw yourself in the deep end and just start doing something. If you try to take baby steps and do something correctly, it might never happen. So you know what? Respect to people who, who just started just poking their own skin with a sewing needle. Um, but I personally went down to uh, the tattoo supply place and picked up like a hundred bucks worth of materials. I got fresh needles, I got fresh ink, all kinds of stuff before I started poking my own skin. I do have a really old tattoo machine kit I got off Amazon like 10 years ago. So I have old ink, old needles, stuff that I could dick around on fruit with. And I've probably put 40 hours of my life into practicing on fruit. But uh, it's really nothing like actual skin. Silicone gets you about halfway there. So very important to practice, very important to do all your research. And you don't need me to tell you this because you already know, but like sanitation is the most important thing. Um, there are lots of, as I stated, YouTubers who are just like 18 year olds in their bathrooms. You might want to watch those videos just to kind of figure out what you shouldn't do. There's some really great videos about hand poke professionals in studios and they show you their whole setup and how they keep stuff clean. So I definitely have to insist that you go and watch more YouTube videos than just this one if you are seriously considering doing your own at-home tattoos. So why am I doing stick and poke if I already own machines? Uh, when I was a teenager, I wanted to be a tattoo artist. It was like I signed in people's yearbooks, which is really embarrassing. By the way, if you have a GHS 2007 yearbook that I wrote in like, I'll be doing tattoos in a year. I'm sorry I'm 10 years behind. I still owe you a tattoo. Please hit me up. Just like text me a picture of your yearbook and be like, yo, does this still count? Um, but I, I personally am a fan of huge tattoos that like complement the body and I've never liked small tattoos. And at some point during quarantine, I was kind of assessing my personal goals and what I've done with my life on a career level and like what my teenage self really wanted. And like, when I'm laying on my deathbed, what am I gonna wish I still did? And I really did want to be a tattoo artist or a tattooist. And so now I'm like, well, I've accomplished a ton of my other goals. Like, 
this is the this is one of two major goals I haven't actually achieved yet, so let's focus on this. For a month, I drew tattoos. Every day I sat down and I studied other people's tattoo designs and I filled up an entire notebook front and back. Uh, I did this telling myself that at the end of the 30 days, I would go out and I would buy a brand new machine and then I was completely overwhelmed by rotary machines versus pens versus all kinds of other stuff. And in doing my research, I also found out that stick and poke ink stays better and color is more vibrant when you do stick and poke. So we're starting at the beginning and learning how to do the basics now. Is today the day? Today is... What is it, Mooney? Yeah? Today is the 27th of December. My Christmas present to myself was going to be my stick and poke and my leg. But I'm feeling pretty decent today, and yeah, let's clean up this desk. is older than me. Oh. So as previously stated, sanitation is key here. You might think it's your design, you might think it's the quality of your ink, but no, you need to make sure you don't get a horrible infection and die. You have to be alive in order to have skin art. That's the unfortunate thing. We talk about this being permanent, but, you know, technically, it's only as permanent as your skin is. Anyways, so, um, don't do a stick and poke in your room with carpet on the floor. That's not sanitary. If you do, definitely, as you saw, wipe everything down with alcohol. Saran wrap is your friend. Uh, here I'm using individual alcohol wipes to clean the area and everything like that. Obviously, I went and I washed my hands before I did this. All the paper towels are clean. Uh, I wrapped all my bottles, so you're smart. You, you, you're watching a YouTube video. If you weren't smart, you would have just already started doing this on your own, so you don't need me to tell you specifically how to be clean. The, the other thing I'm doing that I feel like a lot of YouTubers are not doing is making myself a pencil grip. Uh, I don't know how everybody holds on to these thin ass little needles, but uh, I, I felt more comfortable with the needle being around the thickness of a pencil. To do that, I got some of that, oh, what's it called? Flex wrap, that like sports wrap stuff that's kind of crinkly and I cut about two three inches of that and wrapped it around to make a grip and then sealed all that closed with medical tape. So tattoos take multiple passes especially when you're hand poking. Uh, on this first pass I really don't think it hurt very much. I'd say it was maybe like a three on the pain scale. I was aware, which is good. I mean, you're, you're poking your skin. You want to be able to feel it and know you're doing something. But when I was watching YouTube videos doing my initial research, I was very surprised that you would go back over the same area multiple times. And I will be honest, it got difficult. Uh, by the, the fourth pass, I was fighting with myself, as you will soon see. And just in case you were wondering, uh, this design, I call it Gobby. It's this logo that I made up when I was 15. And uh, in my 20s, when I was doing like photography stuff, I made little buttons as promotion with this little logo on it. And people always put them upside down. They, they thought it was just a pentagram. Um, but it's my own sort of take on a satanic goat's head, but in a cuter way. 
and it's got a little halo and it's always just had very chaotic good energy to me so i figured it'd be very appropriate uh it's meant a lot to me for 16 17 years now so i i don't mind it being in my skin i do have the okay mooney hello come on come on in come give me your input yeah hang on one second Got to formally invite the cat up on my lap. Yep. No one else is going to sit there. Anyway. My intention is to get the lines down really solid on this guy. The pain level- so I'm on the second pass now. And I can definitely feel it quite a bit more on the second pass. I have no idea if I'm blowing out. I, have, I mean, I'm bleeding a little bit, so I might be blowing out. Um, this is green, half green stuff, half distilled water. And, yeah, pain level's not too bad. Um, over the bone hurts and on this thinner part of the skin hurts. I'm getting red and irritated, which you're not able to see because I'm all zoomed in. Also, you get to listen to Scott Pilgrim because that's what I have on in the background. This is my guilty pleasure movie. Um, not awful for my first couple passes. I really want my leg to feel better so I can get more ink in. This is nowhere near as dark as I would like it, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to put this down for a few days and let it heal and then come back to it. I really wanted to get a nice solid outline today, but if my leg keeps falling asleep... I don't really have a choice, um, because I'm afraid if it falls any more asleep, I'm going to start twitching. A de-veganized ray. Reminds me, is my ink I'm using vegan? Yes, it's got the vegan symbol on it, cool. I think I've, most inks are vegan now. It's pretty um, not common to find bo bone charred ink, but I wasn't sure, because I'm using... this guy not that you can read it with the plastic wrap on it but this is my outlining ink and I don't know it seems a lot thinner than the what's it mother's mom's mom's ink that I was using to practice with I bought that off Amazon so I can't tell how old it is whereas the Kurosumi is newer and I got directly from a tattoo place. Alright. I would really like to turn this movie off so we could listen to the sound of, of the pop pops, but I don't want to touch my computer because I didn't disinfect the computer, just the desk. <laughs> I'm actually very concerned that this is not really taking as well. It's better, it's better to not go deep enough and to have to go over it again than to blow out and then fuck up my ankle forever. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna tell myself. Yeah, okay, you take a little breather and then you come back and it hurts quite a bit more. <laughs> this, <laughs> uh, I'd say this is maybe a four on the pain scale. This is not pleasant, but right now I'm on the bone of my ankle, right on the bone. And yes, go ahead and judge me that I did not actually shave. I'm doing this tattoo below where my hair grows in and I'm gross and just deal with it. It's my first ever tattoo on skin. Oh, <laughs> better. Back to over narrator. Yeah, as I kind of stated, my leg was going numb. I was cramping up so bad. This is just a personal problem where my joints bug me pretty easily and stuff. And I'm a delicate little flower, so I start complaining really profusely. Uh, but yeah, numb leg was the toughest part of this whole process. Also, the individual pain of the pokes varied. Sometimes I would just hit a certain spot and it was like an eight and I almost had to stop. But for the most part, this really wasn't that painful. I'm just a little bi furious. It's the stupidest line and I love it so much. 
something else. Okay, if I actually do fill up my whole fucking left leg, I'll put a little by furious somewhere on my leg because fuck. Oh, why does this None of this intimidates me except the halo. Something about just the circle freaks me out and I don't know where to start on it with these corners. I'm like, "We'll start at the corner and work your way in." But the but I go, "Oh, oh, oh, which oh, oh." And I just don't know where to start. It's fine. It's not even a good oval. I redrew this like five times. It's not even that good. Oh boy. I'm glad I'm doing this. I'm glad I'm finally doing this. I told myself I was gonna do this 15 years ago. I am 31 years old. I was 16 years old when I made it a goal to become a tattooist. And no matter how much you practice on fruit and silicone, this is the only way you become a tattooist, is to tattoo actual skin. That hurts like a bitch. I think I might be going too deep. Cause that no, it's fine. It's the second pass, so it's gonna hurt. It's the way it goes. So yeah. My entire goal is to, I actually am currently working on a drawing of a skellington, a skellington, a skellington, oh, now I can't say the word skellington, oh, fucking shit, skellington, no, <laughs> skeleton, <laughs> alright, that's what I get for hitting my vape pen while trying to edit this video, anyways, I would like to fill up my entire left leg with my own art, and if any of it turns out good, then I will start doing this on other people. But until then, I'm going to fill up my whole leg. I have a not Jack Skellington, a Skellington- oh, fucking shit! <laughs> I don't even want to re-record this. Uh, some bones, some human bones, are gonna go on the other side of my leg. That's my next project. And then I'm gonna put all kinds of little symbols, like band logos and- dumb movie quotes on the rest of my life. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Skeleton. 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 I really should not be touching this camera the way I am because I'm an idiot. Because I didn't clean that camera. But, um, I'm on the third or fourth pass now and I don't think I can go much longer. I just got through a whole movie, so I guess I've been going for 90 minutes or so. But, um... Ankles hurt. Ankle, ankles are owie. I don't want to keep going. I'm gonna finish this whole pass and clean it off, and then I might give it a couple days. I really wanted to go, like, at least five passes tonight, but I might have to stop at four. Fuck that hurts, it's right on the bone. Bitch, fuck, cunt, sucker, motherfucker. Ouch, kabibbles. I have to get these inner horns because I only did those twice. I wanna- I'm ambidextrous, and I paint right and left-handed, but I don't quite trust my left hand to do pokes, and I keep really wanting to switch sides so I can get the other angle, but I don't trust myself to aim right with my left hand. I will soon, but not yet. Owie. This is like a six or a seven on the pain scale now. This is enough to make me like jump. <laughs> there, now I feel better. Okay. Ow, fuck. <sighs> it's fine. This is fine. This is fine. Everything is peachy keen. I hope your family has a very nice Christmas. Oh. 
Oh boy. When I was 18 years old, I was going to get a rat tattooed right here. Instead, I carved a nautical star in my leg, and I used calligraphy ink. And I was mad at myself for using calligraphy ink, but it faded by the time the nautical stars went out of fashion. So it was really a good thing that I used cheap blue calligraphy ink instead of proper tattoo ink. <gasps> I need- I don't need to. But I want to. I'm going to be happier with this if I can do it in two sittings. So we'll do one more pass on the halo, and then we'll call it a night. A moon hoax. The worst owl kinds of hoaxes. Oh, fuck. If my mom's watching this, mom, I'm so sorry. I know you made me promise I wouldn't ever do this, but I waited a long, long time. Hopefully you didn't hear that part about the nautical star. I'm sorry, Mom. It's not with a machine, though. You told me I couldn't use a machine on my own skin. And I haven't done that. I've never done that. Everything's fine. This is fine. Some woman somewhere is pushing another human out of her body. I can do this. Mooney. Save me from myself. Fuck shit. Fuck cunt. Fuck. Fuck. <clears throat> Mooney, I'm an artist. I'm an artist. A very slow one. But still. At least I'm something. Yeah. Harvest moon. It's you, Autumn Moon. You're the Harvest Moon. My little moony moon. No, you can't come up on my lap right now. That would not be sanitary in the slightest. This is not sanitary. Do not hand poke yourself and then put your foot down on your carpeted floor. Do not do as I say, not as I do. Oh, it hurts. When I'm not poking, it's like a three. Very thankful for this dragon's blood balm. I do think this is helping. I know most artists just use Vaseline, but I invested in a tattoo balm. And I think it's helping keep the angriness down. Mooney, what do you think? Am I crazy? Crazy! But that's how it goes. It's creepy. Millions of people live in a spouse. Sing it. Maybe. But it's not too late to learn how to love and forget how to hate. Creepy children's voices. Okay. Let's do this. I'm sure I've done more painful things. I couldn't tell you what they were, but I'm sure I have. This is really annoying now. I used to think these like old-timey educational Disney cartoons were my favorite thing. But when you're in pain, they're not quite as um, uh, entertaining. Mother just killed a man. Every once in a while, it really hurts. I might be going too deep. Why do you hurt so bad? Oh, put a gun against his head. Pulled my trigger, now he's dead. Mama, life had just begun. My knife gun and thrown it all away. Mama. Sing out a key. If I don't come back again, 
why I'm tattooing my leg. This is awesome. Everything's fine. This is exactly what I want to do. This is perfect. I love it. I love the choices that I've made in my life. I don't regret anything. Everything's perfect. Fuck you. Fuck you and the horse you rode it on! When I got um, professionally tattooed as a kid, I was 18, and um, pain-wise I could deal with the pain, but I still like went into shock and my body started shaking. And I made the tattoo artist really uncomfortable, like all four, it was only supposed to be three sittings, it had to be four sittings because I couldn't, I started crying during coloring my wings, so I walked around for like three months with one uncolored wing, one colored wing, one black wing, because just was like sobbing and, and I remember telling him like, no it's fine, he's like, clearly it's not fine because you're crying. I'm a delicate little flower, okay? I'm really glad I didn't just start on my toes like I wanted to. Maybe the toes wouldn't hurt as much as the inside of my fucking ankle, actually. I don't know. Maybe I'm tattooing one of the most sensitive spots of my ankle. I don't know. Let's clean this off. Oof. All right, just, it deserves a lot more ink, but we're going to stop here because that's about two hours. Well, oh, that line's so bad. That line really deserves more work, but we're going to heal. That's what you and me are going to do, little buddy. We're going to heal up. Day one. <sighs> yeah, we gotta we gotta call it now. Okay, so it's the next day and I might be wearing the same clothes. Who cares? Um but let's look at it. All I did was put one of them meat bandages over it. You know, I really, I really thought these were like a fancy medical thing um, that like was self-adhesive, but nah, this is just to absorb moisture from meats for packaging purposes. And they happen to come sanitary um, since they need to be like food grade, but because of that, tattooists can use them to cover up ink. Alright, this is what I really wanted to shave for, this part, trying to get that tape off my fuzzy ass legs. How we doing? How we doing, little buddy? See, it's not too gross. Got a little bit of seepage. You can't see shoot. What, you wanna... Come give your two cents. <sighs> Look at how much cat fur wound up on this in one in one day. This is, this is why I can't have nice things. There's so much cat fuzz on this. This is not sanitary. I don't know if I can actually do this in this house with you here, Mooney. I thought I cleaned pretty thoroughly, but I guess not. Um, seems like the ink stayed, and that was the goal, wasn't it? Yeah, we, let's get a, a real, real close up if we can. 
camera goes, no, that's okay. We don't need to look at it that close. Everything's fine. I can either show you or I can look at it. What do I think? I think this needs another pass or two. Easily, super easily needs another couple passes. This is very liberal on here, but I'm actually very pleased at, um, there, it's not raised at all. Well, you know what? I can kind of feel it. I can feel it just a little bit, but it's not red. I watched a YouTube video where a professional stick and poke tattooist was saying um, a machine tattoo might take a couple weeks to heal. Is this going to fit? I'm going to find out. Um, but a stick and poke can heal, according to them, in just a few days. Wouldn't that be cool if I could actually finish this before New Year's? If I could sit back down on, like, New Year's Eve and knock this out. I would really like it to be proper finished, but, you know. Um, this is close enough. And I just want to keep my grimy-ass hands off of it to the best of my ability. All right. All right, well, thank you so much for checking out this needlessly long vlog about my first stick and poke. Hopefully I will have an update for you in a couple weeks. Um, yeah, be safe out there and good luck over the 2021 winter. We can make it through this even if we have to fuck up our skin a little bit in the process.